How's it going? It's Edgar with Cybersecurity Global. And in this video, we're gonna discuss why the Juniper JNCIA certification is a better option over the more prominent Cisco CCNA. So, the first two reasons are that the JNCIA is a lot easier to take in terms of the requirements and the difficulty of the exam and it's also cheaper so for in the same amount that you could get the first half of the CCNA done you could get the whole well the single JNCIA which has the same value as the CCNA in the, uh, in the eyes of companies and recruiters so the only downside to Getting the Juniper certification is that you won't be able to use that Cisco keyword in your resume or your LinkedIn profile. But if you're struggling with taking the CCNA, you could take the first half of the CCNA, which is the easier half, and then take the Juniper JNCIA, which covers routing and switching. Well, it's more routing, but it covers most of the topics that the CCNA covers just on the Juniper side of the house when it comes to the syntax of the commands so that's just a good trick that I learned from taking both tests and realizing that at the company that I was at they valued the Juniper just as much as the Cisco certification but the Juniper I was able to take that with just one week of study and CCNA took me one failed attempt along with an extra two months of study because they released a new version when I failed the first one. So just something to consider. The Juniper is a lot easier to take. It'll save you a lot of time and it'll help you quickly get a networking job without having to go to all the, the stress or headache of a full Cisco certification.